How's it going, guys? Today, I kind of want to just do a film breakdown. I love doing film breakdowns, and this clip right here, we have an example of how to beat outside shade. And for this, we have Stefan Diggs' third touchdown against the Miami Dolphins a couple weeks ago. So, let's run the clip. As you can see, Diggs starts outside, he motions over. Josh Allen snaps the ball, it's a play action. You can see that he cuts in a little bit, and then of course, he, Allen catches him. Diggs throws it in the crowd, it puts him up 21 in the third quarter. Really capping off an amazing day, but let's break down a little bit about how that happened. So what the Dolphins do here is that they stack the box. Right now there are eight people within the middle of the field, and that leaves the three corners by themselves to guard their man. Where this breaks down is that when the ball is snapped, those people in the middle, none of them really drop back too far. They're all playing intermediate zones, which means that there's no help over top. There's no safety help, and that's where this play really begins to break down. Like I said, the guys in the middle don't really do much, and pretty soon we will start to look at how Stephon Diggs got open because it really shows how talented of a wide receiver he is. I think where this play breaks down is within the corner's coverage. The corner is running outside shade, and you can tell by his body language and the fact that his shoulders are pointed towards the middle of the field instead of right at Diggs how it normally is. Now outside shade means that he is favoring Diggs towards the inside because he wants to protect the sideline. That's This outside sideline area is not a space that he wants to give up. But Diggs is such a good wide receiver that not only he recognizes this, but he threatens this in a way that's pretty convincing. If we start the clip, we can see that Diggs, he starts, he threatens vertical how he's supposed to, and then he cuts inside and we'll pause it here. At this point, the corner has completely abandoned his outside shade. His momentum is all the way towards the middle of the field. And at this point, this is kind of an impossible thing to recover from. And it's also why Diggs is one of the best route runners in the league, because he can make things look so deceptive. As we can see, Diggs is back outside where the corner doesn't want him to go. And at this point, it's just a waiting game. He's waiting, waiting, looking it in, catches the ball. And for extra points, he just kind of sideswipes him and lets him fall on the floor as he throws the ball into the crowd.